हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द क्लास टुडे वी विल स्टडी सेल बायोलॉजी सो आई हैव प्रिपेयर्ड द लिस्ट ऑफ टॉपिक्स दैट वी हैव टू कवर इन सेल बायोलॉजी हियर वी हैव टू स्टडी कंपैरिजन ऑफ प्रो कैरियोर्स एंड यू कैरियोर्स दैट वी विल सी टुडे दैन बायो मेम्ब्रेन्स एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम कॉलजी बॉडी लाइजोजोम न्यूक्लियस राइबोजोम माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया ऑर्गेनल्स देन सेल डिविजन माइटोसिस मियोसिस माइटोटिक स्पेंडल एपरेटस क्रोमोजो मूवमेंट टाइप्स क्रोमेटिन टाइप्स देन न्यूक्लिक एसिड टेपोलॉजी डी एन ए मोटिव सेंट्रल डॉगमा विच कंप्राइज रेप्लीकेशन ट्रांसक्रिप्शन ट्रांसलेशन प्रोसेस प्रोटीन फोल्डिंग एंड ट्रांसपोर्ट सो एवरी ईयर मिनिमम टू टू फाइव क्वेश्चन कम फ्रॉम सेल बायोलॉजी टॉपिक सो द सेल we all know that cell is the structural and functional fundamental unit of any organism so its structure comprises of extracellular matrix and protoplasm sorry extracellular membrane so anything which is outside the protoplasm is known as extracellular membrane it is comprises of cell wall and pellicle so anything which is laid outside protoplasm it is synthesized and patterned by protoplasm it is mainly to provide structure to the cell then in protoplasm which includes plasma membrane cytoplasm nucleus in cytoplasm cytoskeleton is present to give the structure to the cell cytosol organelle organelles which having mitochondria chloroplast lysosome golgi body and macromolecular assemblies ribosomes in nucleus it is having chromatin nuclear envelope nucleoplasm nuclear matrix and nucleolus we will study about we will we are going to study in detail about the different organelles which are present in the cell here i have prepared a chart form to differentiate between the prokaryotes and eukaryotes we will see one by one the number one we are going to talk in terms of appearance first prokaryotes appeared approximately 3 billion years ago and eukaryotes 1.8 to 1.5 billion years ago now size the size of prokaryotes is 1 to 2 micrometers the size of eukaryotes is 5 to 100 micrometers the generally prokaryotes are solitary or two or many prokaryotes come together to form a colony but in eukaryotes it can be solitary colonial or multicellular genome it's non membranous and envelope around genome means there is no membrane usually a single circular molecule its genome is single circular molecule either dna or rna whereas in eukaryotes it's a multi molecular linear associated with protein that protein is histone and it is linear you must be knowing the structure of dna double stranded dna which is present in us then cell division simple fission one cell it will divide into two cells this is a simple fission then mitosis and meiosis internal membrane is very rare and in pro eukaryotes it's complex internal membrane as a form of nuclear envelope golgi body endoplasmic reticulum is present rhizosome 70s 70s s is the sedimentation coefficient and in eukaryotes it's 80s then cytoskeleton is highly simple whereas in eukaryotes it's microtubules microfilaments intermediate filaments present and the examples are for prokaryotes it's u bacteria archae bacteria and cyanobacteria whereas in eukaryotes is plants algae fungi animals 
So in short, we can say that the prokaryotes, which is a primitive type of cells, and eukaryotes, which is an advanced type of cells, is we can compare like the house of a poor people and a house of rich people. A different compartments are present for different functions in the houses of rich people, that is eukaryotes. A kitchen will be there, a dining room will be there, guest room will be there. But in prokaryotes, a single room will be there, which will be occupied for different functions. Now, we will see the structure of a prokaryotic cell. This is a diagram. Let's have a quick view. It's the glycocalyx, which is the outermost membrane which is present in prokaryotic cell. Then we have an outer membrane. In between cell wall and outer membrane, we have periplasmic space. Then we have plasma membrane. Inside the cell, we have ribosomes, plasmid, chromosomes, inculsion body, basal filament, flagellum, pilus. This is the structure of gram-negative bacteria. So, cell envelope, it is having glycocalyx, outer membrane, periplasmic space and the cell wall. Now, what is the role of glycocalyx? See, the glycocalyx is the outermost layer. It is hydrophilic. Hydrophilic means water loving. That's why present in the outermost part. It is made up of polysaccharide layer. Its main function is protection from phagocytosis. Then we have outer membrane. It is made up of lipopolysaccharide. It is present only in gram-negative bacteria. Its function is protection. Then we have periplasmic space. It is a fluid filled space between outer membrane and cell wall. It is for material accumulation and digestion. Then we have cell wall right it is composed of peptidoglycan complex structure contains nag nam and ticoic acid cell shape determination and protection as its main function this is flagellum it comprises of basal filament hook and filament part its main function is locomotion in aqueous medium then we have pilus here a cylindrical structure a hollow tube it is for surface adhesion and forming conjugation tube. Then we have plasma membrane. It is 11 nanometer thick. This one, 11 nanometer thick. And it is made up of lipid bilayer. We are going to study in detail about the structure of plasma membrane and how the structure has been uh, discovered. Different theories were given. Its main purpose is transport, regulation, biochemical reaction. Then we have cytoplasm, lacks membrane bound organelles. It contains 70 ribosome. It is the ribosome here present. Inculsion bodies like polyhydroxy butyrate. So, site, this is the area, this is the place where glycolysis TCA cycle take place in prokaryotic cells. Then we have plasmid, this is plasmid, and this chromosome. This provide the genetic information for cell structure and metabolism. Now, how the eukaryotic cells evolve? So, as we know that eukaryotic cells originated 1.8 billion years ago and several theories have been given to explain the evolution and the most widely accepted one is endosymbiosis theory which was given by Lillian Margulis in 1980. According to this theory, the eukaryotes evolved from the primitive prokaryotes by the mechanism of endosymbiosis. Means a small prokaryotes, this, this one is a small prokaryotes, which is aerobic prokaryotes. It get, uh, it found it resident in the large, large eukaryotes and they developed a symbiosis relationship in which the small prokaryote will provide surplus ATP and this host cell will provide food and protection. So when it the small prokaryote found it for permanent resident inside the uh, primitive prokaryotic cells then uh, invagination of plasma membrane took place 
which leads to the formation of nuclear envelope and when there is an entry of for, uh, cyanobac cyanobacteria inside the cell it will leads to the formation of plant cell otherwise it will form a animal cell so what are the evidence which will prove which will prove that this theory is correct number 1 the presence of genome in mitochondria and chloroplast second thing is double standard dna in which is circular not bound to histone in mitochondria and chloroplast prokaryotic type replication transcription translation and ribosome then presence of two membrane the structure of mitochondria and chloroplast having double bound membrane we will study the detailed structure in the coming classes and the formation of some secondary metabolites same as in the prokaryotes so this, that's all for the today's lecture in tomorrow class we will study about the endomembrane wait yes in tomorrow's class we will start plasma membrane and endoplasmic reticulum thank you